Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Walks. Wildlife comes in many shapes and sizes. Today I'm on an adventure looking for butterflies, the tiny jewels of the forest. They take advantage of a wide range of habitats, so you never know where you're going to find them. But this windblown tree was absolutely full of surprises. I came in for a closer look and realized it was full of these amazing red admiral butterflies and suddenly one actually landed right on my wrist. This was incredible. Now this is close contact if ever there was any. This was really interesting to me because more commonly I've seen the white admirals, not the red admirals. So this was a really cool find. That is absolutely fantastic. They seem to love this spot. They were right out in the open in the sunshine. I was really surprised by the behavior. I mean, they actually seemed a little bit aggressive to each other. So every time that one butterfly would land, another one would kind of come by and give them a little shove. They seem to want to volley for the best possible position on this tree. I think it's all about displaying in this case. They seem to tolerate me watching them very well, as long as I didn't move too quick and I kind of sat patiently. It was amazing to be able to just sit there and appreciate what was really happening, you know, the fine details. As I looked a little bit closer, something really strange happened. Now watch this next scene very carefully. You'll see a butterfly. Now he starts to shove that carpenter ant along. Just then a bee comes by and scares off the butterfly and then actually grabs the ant and flies away. Now that is incredible. Just imagine all this is going on. It's like a little predator prey ecosystem on the side of a tree. Then I notice these other butterflies they're not even red admirals. There's something completely different. This stunning looking butterfly is actually called a question mark. Now that has to be the perfect name for this species because I have no idea why they're hanging around with red admirals on this tree. Usually, this species of butterfly called question mark will be busy going after tree sap and rotted fruit and that sort of thing, but here, it's almost as if they're competing with the red admirals. In fact, you can clearly see they're displaying towards each other aggressively and shoving each other around. This is just phenomenal. Butterflies like the question mark sometimes will lay their eggs underneath the leaf of a tree and you'll see these little tiny oblong eggs and that's how you actually find them, really cool. Notice the beautiful edging around the outer parts of their wings. It's almost scalloped with two little teardrops. Not quite a swallowtail, but almost beautiful. Look at the comparison between these two species. You have the red admiral on the right and then the question mark on the left. These contrasting colors are absolutely breathtaking. And the thought of this kind of close contact where you can sit right beside them ever so carefully and have these beautiful moments. This is what exploring nature is all about. Appreciating the incredible wonders that you can find right in your own backyard. Let's see what else we can find. That is amazing. When it comes to jaw-dropping beauty, the Eastern Black Swallowtail takes the cake. This species looks like it would be in a Hollywood movie, some kind of a fairy tale or something. I mean, just look at the stunning colors on it. Plus, it's got that long double swallowtail in the back. Just beautiful. If you watch carefully, you can see what almost looks like another leg coming out of its head. That's actually his tongue. It's a giant long tube called a proboscis. 
Now that's a piece of anatomy that's common to all butterflies. It's actually how they get their food. Just imagine inside of a long flower. So a butterfly will land on it. Now sometimes the nectar is way back. So they'll use that long proboscis to reach in all the way back inside where they can reach that difficult food source. That gives them an advantage over other insects. Now just imagine that butterflies actually see in the ultraviolet light spectrum. That's something that us humans cannot do. So as beautiful as the wings are on this particular butterfly, they look totally different to others of their own kind. So when they're flapping their wings like that, they could be attracting other butterflies with this incredible colors that you don't even realize are going on. Just amazing when you think about that. So in the end of the day, it really is all about perspective. Speaking of which, remember the red admiral butterfly? Well, here is the beautiful white admiral butterfly. Similar to his counterpart, he has that amazing rounded stripe across his entire back. Just beautiful, and that's where he gets his namesake from. Yet another amazing butterfly with a really cool name is the morning cloak. This one looks like a bird might have gotten to it in the backside, but still very beautiful. The eyes of the butterfly are fascinating as well. They actually see an entire mosaic in an omni view, every direction at the same time. Incredible. A hobby of finding butterflies, a lot like watching birds, is an incredible array of different species. It's just an endless supply of different fascinating things to find. The more you look, the more you see. And that's just what it's all about with nature. So the difference between a morning cloak with the white stripe in the back and the beautiful white admiral with the white stripe in the middle of the wings, that fine detail will allow you to identify the difference between these two species. The life cycle of a butterfly is incredible. Just imagine inside of a chrysalis hidden within the forest. Suddenly, what used to be a caterpillar emerges, climbs up onto a branch and dries its wings like this incredible tiger swallowtail. Now this species requires a very close look. The colors can truly take your breath away. It's a common species actually in the east. I've seen these in forests and in meadows, fields and along even watersheds along the banks. Just beautiful. They even feed in groups sometimes, which is really, really neat to see. The tiger swallowtail is one butterfly that really stands out. It's a starch contrast to anything in the background with this brilliant yellow coloring, and it's a huge butterfly. It's probably as well known as a monarch is, at least in the northeastern areas where it calls itself home. Look at the beautiful blue along its backside. That's one thing I found that was really, truly beautiful about a lot of different large butterflies is they really have a lot of detail even under the wing, which is really cool to see. Look at this. This particular species has a five and a half inch wingspan. And believe me, for a butterfly, that is huge. Since this butterfly is in feeding, you can see that its proboscis is actually curled up into a circle. It does that intentionally, and then when it goes to feed, it'll just unravel it and point it at its target nectar. It makes a lot of sense for this butterfly to hide in the forest while it's drying its wings. Remember, it can't fly until they're totally dry, so it obviously just came out of the chrysalis. Now, with its wings up like that, look how streamlined this is. So a bird flying overhead would never see this. It'll just look like a little thorn or a branch. Once it does dry, it's time to chow. And tiger swallowtails, they often feed in groups like this, so you get to see a beautiful bunch of them together going out looking for any kind of resource they can find. In my own experience, I usually just see one flying along a meadow, hopping from flower to flower, and given the opportunity for some beautiful photography or video. In this case, I got very lucky and found a bunch of them together like this, so this was a fantastic opportunity to watch them interact. The tiger swallowtail is certainly one of the more beautiful butterflies that I've ever seen, and that was a real treat to see. But not every butterfly is so large. 
In fact, here is a beautiful male and female pearly crescent spot. Beautiful little butterflies. Look how small they are compared to the flower on this clover. That gives you an idea of the size. The difference between them and a tiger swallowtail is like the difference between a pterodactyl and a pigeon to put things in perspective. But just because they're small doesn't mean they don't have a lot to offer. As a matter of fact, I really enjoy looking at the close patterns. Have a look at the dark spots on the bottom wing set and then notice how the first couple on the inside of each wing have that outer layer. That helps you identify this particular species and all the different crescent spots and many other different small butterflies and even moss is just like that. You count the different circles and the different patches to identify which species that you're looking at. In this case, the male and female are so different I didn't even realize that it was actually of the same species until I started looking it up. Really, really beautiful. That really is the point. You see, to get to know a particular small species of butterfly like this, you really do need to pay attention. And I think really that's what it's all about. You see, the fate of wildlife and the fate of humankind really are interconnected. There's one world and all of us live here and share it together. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, or you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.